Hello, hello, hola amigos, buenas tardes, ¿cómo están? Espero que estén bien. I hope you are great. My name is Vanessa. I am your Lima City Tour Guide here in Hago. I've been taking you to different parts of my beautiful city on historic tours and also through lectures. And today we are going to practice Spanish together. It is a pleasure to have you today in this fourth class. This is the fourth of our classes and we're going to keep learning Spanish together. We're going to unveil together uh, the, the secrets of speaking proper Spanish, especially when you are traveling, because this series is dedicated to helping you to travel in Latin America using Spanish. It is indeed possible. So we are going together to learn every day, every class, something new, something different. And it is an absolute pleasure for me to be your guide and in this case, teacher. Uh, so, well, we're going today to go to our fourth class and we're going also to practice conversation. We are going to talk, we're going to converse. So it's going to be very fun. I hope you are also ready to participate, to write, because I'm going to be asking you things. Uh, so we're going to also refresh a little bit of what happened last class. And before we begin, well, thank you. Oh, thank you, Martin. Muchas gracias. Thanks for your tip support, amiga. Uh, I would like first to say hi to all the people joining today. Gracias, Martin. So let me say hi to all the people joining. And thanks a lot for coming. Hola, Natalie. It's good to see you here. Hola, Yvonne. Hola, Lorraine. Hi, Martin, my dear. Hello, hello. Hola, Sara. Hola, Inge. Hello. ¿Cómo estás? Uh, and also, let me know if you speak Spanish already. How much Spanish do you speak? Poquito, mucho, más o menos. Hola, Roberto, ¿cómo estás? Hello. Cari, thanks for coming again. Hola, amigo, ¿qué tal, qué tal? Ellen, hola, ¿cómo están? Ah, muy bien, Roberto, excelente español. Muy bien. Gertrude, hola. Faith, ¿cómo están? Thanks for coming. Hola, Gertrude, hola. Angie, and all people joining, hola. Con más o menos, says Angie, so That's really good, actually. <laughs> Más o menos, you have made it written perfectly. <laughs> so that's that's good. We're going to improve that, Angie. We are going to improve it. Uh, hola, KL. Hola, gracias, Lorraine, for following. Hola, Marilu. Thanks for coming, amiga. So today we're going to keep practicing. Uh, muy bien, Yvonne, a little bit. That's okay. We're going to, you know, practice, practice, practice. Maze the master. Hola, Susan. Thanks for coming. Hola, hola. Uh, Caitlin, más o menos. No worries. We are going to take you to the next level of Spanish. So we're going to practice all together. And also, something important is that I have prepared a printable PDF for you all. So you can use this PDF Uh, during my classes and also later for practicing Inge. I learned Spanish for one year. Oh, that's really a lot. It's a long time. Uh, no worries. Three years ago, you still have it. It's there. It's there. And remember, if you don't use it, you lose it. So <laughs> oh, it is very important to practice. So in that way, we will not lose it. And if you see someone there, it's my husband that is walking from in the kitchen. So, <laughs> um, eh, un year español. Oh, yes, my one year of español was over 50 years old. Ah, no worries. Uh, Kerry, we are going to bring it back. Uh -huh. Seis años en el colegio hace 30 años. Six years is a lot. So, it is, it's here. It's here in our, in our chips. So we're going now to practice Spanish, amigos. I am so happy uh, to teach you today. Also, before we begin, thanks a lot for your support. And if you would like to support this channel, Your Guide in Lima, with a tip that would be super because we are not paid by Hegel, we are paid with your generosity. So you can do this at any time, even after the tour is finished. Don't need to uh, tip in the moment. If you can do it, 
that is lovely. So at any time during this event or even after, you know, uh, that would be fantastic. I will also let you know where you can uh, support. And if you're new to my channel, if you're new to Hago, let me give you a warm welcome into the community. Uh, this is a beautiful, happy place where we learn a lot of things, where we travel, where we, you know, visit virtually different places. And now we're learning a language, right? Uh, so we are going now to refresh what happened last class, class three, and later we're going to the class four, the one that corresponds to today. So let me flip the camera. Dun, dun, dun. And we are going now to go to our uh, printable. This is, by the way, from the printable that I have prepared for you all. I think my dear friend Martin shared the printable. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Amiga. And this printable, you can use it anytime. I keep uploading things. Also, uh, if you can, you can maybe use this uh, like uh, online, you can print it. And later when I add more things, you can print the pages uh, that are coming next. So the classes I'm doing, uh, I am adding more. Okay, this is free printable. So in the class number three, uh, the last class, we talk about the days of the week, los días de la semana. Okay, los días de la semana. So, um, and it's important to talk about the days of the week when you are traveling, when you are doing your booking, for example, when you want to uh, ask, for example, for a tour, uh, or maybe you are giving directions and instructions. So we're going to practice, again, the days of the week. Okay, amigos, repeat after me. Okay, Monday is lunes, lunes. Uh, Tuesday is martes, martes, Wednesday is miércoles, miércoles, Thursday is jueves, jueves, Friday is viernes, viernes, Saturday, sábado, Sábado, Sunday, domingo, domingo. Okay, so tell me, my friends, which day is today? ¿Qué día es hoy? Please, right here in the comment section. ¿Qué día es hoy? Mm. Muy bien, Angie, Cari, Inge, viernes, Natalie, Caitlin, viernes. Muy bien, Roberto, Mary Lou. ¿Qué día será mañana? ¿Qué día será mañana? Muy bien, Cari, sábado. Sábado. Muy bien, amigos. No worries, Mary Lou. Take your time. Take your time. Mañana es sábado. Excelente. ¿Y qué día fue Ayer. Excelente. Muy bien. Jueves. Muy bien. Excelente, Natalie. Jueves. Muy bien. Correcto. Now we're going to practice the months of the year. And we will begin with January. Okay. Enero. Enero. Febrero, febrero, marzo, marzo, abril, abril, mayo, mayo, junio, junio, julio, julio, agosto, Agosto, septiembre, septiembre, octubre, octubre, noviembre, noviembre, diciembre, diciembre. So notice that um, the months September, November, and December, they have the same ending. 
Also, I highlighted this in red to help you to memorize this part. If you memorize it for September, uh, you can also use it for November and December, right? Muy bien, amigos. I hope you are practicing your pronunciation, huh? Don't be shy, please. Don't be shy. We are here to practice. We are here to make mistakes. Uh, nobody has been born knowing everything. We learn Spanish from our moms, our dads, no? from our relatives when we were babies. And this is how we're going to do it. Hmm? So don't use the I in May. Uh, May Mayo, right, Joanna? Mayo. Uh-huh. Mayo, May. Uh-huh. So we're going to continue with the next uh, part. Just it's, this is a, a refreshing, okay? It's a refreshing um, because we have done this in the previous class more in detail. So when we write the date, mm -hmm, when we are writing the date, oh, Joanna, I'm learning online. Oh, that's great. Are you using Duolingo, Joanna? Duolingo is a really good way to keep your mind very active. I recommend you. Muy bien. Uh, Duolingo es excelente. Excelente. So you can use this. If you don't use it yet, download it and try to keep using it. So it will be very helpful. Mm -hmm. Oh, gracias, Martín. Busu, that's another one. Excellent. I'll keep that in mind for my Polish. I want to learn Polish. <laughs> so in Peru and Latin America, amigos, When you are saying the day, for example, uh, uh, you are writing the date, uh, a day of the, of the you know, a special occasion, or you're saying your birthday, for example, uh, you need to remember the order, how we do it. Because uh, I learned some time ago that the order variates according to the country, right? In Peru, for example, uh, we always use, and in Latin America, day, month, and year. Okay, uh, and we're going also to use these examples and please read also with me. Okay, so for example, the first date over here, right? this one here, uh, is primero, so the first of the month is always primero, is not one, right? When we are saying the dates, we don't say uno de enero. No, we say primero, okay? Primero de enero de 2023. If you want to refresh counting in Spanish, don't worry. We have done already the class and it's in my YouTube channel. We have done the class of counting the numbers, right? So you can go later to my YouTube channel to see my last, uh, my, my, my past classes, the first class, second class, and third class in these days, no? and you can refresh that part, right? But we have done already this, amigos, the counting. Oh, so don't worry, you can later refresh. So, primero de enero de 2023, next one is... 2 de julio de 1999. Next one is 12 de octubre de 2002. This one here, 2 de mayo. And this one here, 11 de diciembre. Okay? So, uh, this is important for saying your birthday, for example, or oh, for, let's say, um, asking for the day of a tour, oh, if you want to ask for a tour or a reservation in Spanish, very important, the dates. Oh. So I have this in the mic. Oh, of course, Joanna. Yes, 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 indeed. Muy bien. And... I would like to do one more practice with you before, before we pass to the class of the day. So, could you please write in Spanish the day of your birthday? As an example, you can see my birthday. 
My birthday is... Es el 15 de septiembre. That is my birthday. Or, or you can also say the month, if you prefer. Es en septiembre. So please, my friends. Hola, Elisabetta. Elisabetta, please tell me or write, please, in Spanish, the day of your birthday. So, muy bien, 5 de agosto, Inge. Angie, 25 de agosto, muy bien. Sara, 5 de julio, es el 9 de abril, Cari. Oh, Natalie, 6 de mayo, muy bien. Oh, el 5 de, el 2 de mayo es el de mi hija. Ah, the, the May the second, Natalie, is the, is the birthday of my daughter, of my little one. Ajá. Lama, 17 de marzo. Roberto, 16 de diciembre. Muy bien, amigo. Susan, 8 de marzo. Martín es el 10 de julio. Elisabetta, 19 de septiembre. Elisabetta, I am September 15. We are same month. Uh, 2 de mayo. Marilu, 2 de mayo. My daughter is May the second. Exactly the same month <laughs> and same day. 7 de julio, muy bien, my dear Joanna. Mm -hmm. uh, 12 de noviembre, excelente, Ellen. Yeah, and extra points for the people that are writing the, uh, the number, huh? Excelente. Uh, eh, uh, Valerie, 10 de enero, muy bien. Excelente, amigos. We are already in our Spanish mood. Okay, we are going to go to the next part. This is the new part. Muy bien, Joana, siete, siete, siete. We are refreshing all the knowledge. Where is your YouTube channel? Valerie, it is very easy to go to my YouTube channel. By the way, there no, you will find not just my Spanish classes, also uh, many lectures about history, uh, many of my tours are there. Uh, it is easy. Uh, when you go to my channel profile in Hago, there you will see a link like a YouTube image, uh, the, the link of YouTube. You click there and you will go to my YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. uh, also, you can find me in YouTube as, after uh, the name Adventurous Travel Guide. Mm -hmm. It's very easy. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for, for asking that. So, we can now go to our uh, next part, which is the part we're going to practice. Okay? So, saludos. Saludos is greetings. Uh, saludos. No? So, when you are going to greet someone, and it's very nice to do it in the language. Uh, we have to, of course, try to do it in the language of the locals, right? I love when, when I, I am receiving tour groups and they say, hola, Vanessa, I get very excited. It's really nice, right? Uh, so we're going now to practice the greetings. Oh, gracias, Martín. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. That's my YouTube channel. Ah, uh, Martin has said, oh, muchas gracias, Angie. So there you have the, the link. Uh, my friends Angie and Martin are sharing. Uh, so anytime, please. I am so happy that you can go to my channel. So we're going to begin uh, with a little bit of the, you know, the information about the greetings. So in Spanish, hola, hola uh, is the, the form, the informal way of saying, you know, like hi course very relaxed no remember that h and also i have already practiced with you the alphabet mm? it's in the youtube um the h is silent so when you see an h don't pronounce the h is silent no? it's not hola no 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 it's hola as if the h didn't was not there so hola is very informal very casual Oh, you can say it to friends. Oh, you can say it to even an, an adult. You are just meeting. Oh, but of course, there are forms to make the greeting more elevated, you know, more serious. If it's an adult person, the one you're talking to. Oh, so we have to always say next, 
you know, a, a phrase that is related with the moment of the day when you are greeting, right? Oh, gracias, Angie. Thanks for your support. Thank you, thank you. Muchas gracias, amiga. So, for example, in the morning, uh, we say, buenos dias. Oh, Angie, no worries. You can see the recording of this event in YouTube later. Uh, no worries. Uh, so, buenos dias. In some parts of Latin America, we don't say buenos dias. We say buen dia. Okay? So, both are correct. Buenos dias o buen dia. Mm -hmm. Use buenos dias or buen dia mm, before noon. See? So, during the morning time. Then we have the afternoon greeting. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Mm. You can use buenas tardes, afternoon, or after 12, and before dark. Because when it gets dark, it gets dark, it is not any more tardes. It is buenas noches. Good night, right? So just different areas then in Peru. Martin, mm, well, very good question. Uh, in the Andes uh, of Peru, people tend to be a little bit more solemn when they talk, uh, more, more uh, the respect to the other is, is bigger, no? Um, we use a lot more the word señor, señor is, is sir, no? Or lady, señora, lady. Uh, so, um, and I have here more people using buen día, for example, no? Here in Lima is way more common saying buenos días, buenos días. Oh, but both are correct. Both are correct. And if you use both, it would be either, you know, good. Okay? So if it's dark, you say buenas noches. Exactly, Natalie. If it's dark, that is the best indicator for the moment when you use buenas noches is when it gets dark. And in Peru, because we are close to the equator line, it gets dark always, like very close to the same time. It's not like in, in Europe, for example, uh, when in the winter, it gets dark at four. So far, I hear, never been there, but I hear that. And in the summer, it gets dark, uh, let's say, at, at 11. Uh, so uh, you cannot use, you know, that... That, that factor not to indicate what time is buenas noches, right? But for us, because it always gets dark between six and seven, winter and summer, uh, well, it's a good indicator. So question, uh, thanks, Carrie, for using the queue. By the way, uh, this is also a system I've been using. If you want to ask me something uh, and you see the chat very active, please use a queue. So in that way, in the beginning. So I know it's a question for me. Oh, so, Cari, is there a reason good morning is buenos and evening and night buenas? Well, uh, interesting. It is the gender. It, it's how we assume, you know, the, the gender, but uh, it's really more like a um, sort of like a, the, the grammatical uh, structure of the word, something like that, right? So that, that is pretty much the reason. Uh, um, it's like we assume that noches is like a female, so we say buenas. Now it's like a, a female noun. Tardes also is female noun, so we say buenas. But días is male, so that's why we say buenos, okay? Mm -hmm. So, but later we're going together to discover things that are very strange for <laughs> in Spanish that sometimes we don't wonder because we use it. And for example, you have made me think on that, Gary. But I don't, I don't know in particular why we just say it because it's the way it, it is. Huh? Also, another way to say hola, if you want to be, you know, more informal or casual, like what's up is ¿Qué tal? Oh, what's up? ¿Qué tal? Oh, so you can also say that. Huh? ¿Qué tal? Or to, to someone that is vending you a product in the street, for example. So you don't want to be too formal. 
mo, a child, a young person. ¿Qué tal? What's up? Okay, so we will now go to the next one. By the way, what time is is where you are? So tell me, os, eh, tell me the you know the the greeting according to what time it is for you in this moment. Also, oh, is buenos días for you or buenas tardes or buenas noches? Please. Here in the comment section, okay? So, Inge says, buenas noches. So, it's nighttime in the Netherlands, okay? Of course. In Milwaukee is, buenas tardes. Gracias, Cari. Susan is, buenas noches. Muy bien. Natalie, buenas noches. Excelente. Yes, of course, in the Netherlands is late. Uh, in Canada, buenas tardes. Claro, Marilu. Sara, buenas noches. Buenas noches, Valerie. Buenas tardes a las 3 y 26. Exactly, Roberto. Muy bien. Es buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Eh, also, here we are the same time, Roberto. <laughs> we are in buenas tardes and it's also 326 eh, in Lima, Perú. Mm -hmm. Buenos días en California. Still is early. Ah, oh, that's wonderful, Margie. Excellent. Ah, Elisabetta, buenas noches. Muy bien. Buenos días for Dalia as well. Muy bien. So, remember, buenos días before noon. Buenas tardes, afternoon and before it gets dark. Uh, and also buenas noches is after dark. If you are in a zone in Latin America where they are not so central, like close to the equator line, you can use usually buenas noches after 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. So that will be a good indicator too. Okay, so next part. Ah, it's getting even more interesting now. So presentándome, we have to present ourselves. So I will present myself and also we are going to do a little interaction here. Oh. So presentándome means... I am presenting myself. Oh, I am introducing myself. It's an introduction, right? So we're going to do a little exercise here, all the group, okay? So we're going to partake in this conversation. I will be A, you will be B, okay? See? And you're going to feel, oh, let's say, Oh, uh, your names, let's say, right? Uh, and we're going then to switch, okay? Muy bien, amigos. We're going to begin. So, this is a little conversation that you can have with someone that you're just meeting for the first time. Let's say you come to Peru, right? Or you're going to Colombia, right? So, you are conversing with that person. Ok, we begin. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hello, how are you? Gracias, Sara. Ok, and you, well, you're going to fill your name. Uh -huh. Ok, me llamo, muy bien, excelente, muy bien, muy bien, amigos. Me llamo Cari, ¿y tú? Me llamo Natalie, ¿y tú? <ríe> gracias, Sara. Me llamo Marilu, muy bien. Ah, excelente, gracias. And if you cannot write for any reason, say it, please, where you are, doesn't matter, wherever you are in this moment, you know, don't be shy. Ah, please, practice. Me llamo Valerie, muy bien. Excelente. Me llamo, your name, y tú is, and you, and you, y tú. Me llamo Elisabetta. Muy bien, Elisabetta. Oh, and you, y tú. So now I'm going to answer. Me llamo Vanessa. Soy de Perú. Soy peruana. Mm -hmm. And you? The letter B. Muy bien, me llamo Inge. Soy de Países Bajos. 
Soy holandesa. Muy bien. And also, look at this. I will share with you in a moment. You can write first your nationalities. And we will also check the names of the nationalities in a moment here in Spanish. I have here all the nationalities. So please don't be shy. Write, please, your nationalities, and then we will check and we will correct if needed. Marilu, soy de Canadá. Ajá, muy bien. Valerie, soy de Inglaterra. Soy inglesa. Muy bien. Me llamo Roberto y vivo en Entero, Florida. ¿Y tú? Ay, gracias. Susan, me llamo Susan. Soy de Suecia. Soy sueca. Excelente. Natalie, me llamo Natalie. Soy holandesa. Me llamo Cari, soy de América. Ay, sorry, I pass it here. Soy de América, soy. Ajá. <ríe> Cari. Austria, muy bien, Gertrude. Soy de Norteamérica. Ah, no worries, Joanna, no worries. Sí, we, we have to learn little by little. Little by, it's just something that we have to memorize. But practice makes the master. Ajá, Elizabeth. Soy de Italia. Soy italiana. Muy bien. Lindo nombre. Kaylin. Soy de Estados Unidos. Excelente, Kaylin. Soy canadiense. Muy bien, Marilu. Many, many nationalities in me. <laughs> Gary, I, I, I understand that feeling. <laughs> Netherlands is but English, bro. Eh, very close, Natalie. I will check with you all. Me llamo Joana. Y tú, muy bien, Joana. That's excelente. Mucho gusto. And the answer could be, el gusto es mío. Mm? So, let me... Soy de Lituania. Dalia, qué lindo. Let's go to see also the nationalities. And remember, this is the formula. This is the formula. Uh, by the way, something important here, Yvonne, soy de América. Muy bien, we will check on the nationalities according to, you know, the Spanish. Because, you know, the countries change the, the way how the name is pronounced of the country according to the language. In Italian, in French, in, in, uh, in English, and also in Spanish. Uh, so, the double L, by the way, of me llamo, right? Uh, this is a little note. Doesn't sound like the L. It's, it's not like an L. It's like more like a J or a Y, right? Me llamo. It's something in between a J and a Y. Me llamo, okay? Me llamo. That's the sound that the double L produces. Mm -hmm. The formula, when you say your uh, country, is soy, I am, de, from, and the country. Peru, for example. Soy de Peru. Soy de Estados Unidos. Soy de Francia. Soy de España. And if you want to say your nationality, it is soy, I am, oh, peruana. Yo soy peruana. I am Peruvian. I, I have a question. Which is the difference between lindo and bonito? Elisabetta, it's a very delicate difference. Like, both are related with something pretty. No? For example, a child can be lindo, pretty, and a child can be bonito as well. Huh? Um, lindo, I think it is more like, it covers more like a feeling also that that thing transmits to you. It's lindo. Oh, you feel good with that. And bonito is something strictly like um, pretty. Huh? That could be the difference, I think, for me. Huh? So, soy means I am. Exactly, Joanna. Exactly. Soy is I am. I am also it's leaving like spaces in the printable PDF, like for example, here or next, you know, or below for you to put your notes because I know many people uh, don't speak English as the first language. So I want you to use this 
uh, uh, and, and in your language, if it's much better for you. Okay, Elisabetta, my pleasure. So now we're going to check on the nationalities. Would you like to see that? For example, we're going to check on the nationalities that I remember you mentioned. So, Gales, Grecia, Guatemala, the Holanda, for example, Holland, Holanda, Holandes, Holandesa. Uh, we do the difference between men and women, right? So, a man is Holandes, a woman is Holandesa, okay? So, oh, the UK, Inglaterra, Inglaterra, Inglés. Inglesa. Mm -hmm. So let me know if I'm passing your nationality. I would like to know, but if I check on each one, it can take us a little bit long. Or maybe I can do it. Well, I, I will read this for you. We have some time still. So let's do it. Uh, oh, yes, I know. Um, Inge, we don't have in Spanish the translation, the translation for Netherlands. Let me, actually, I will read all of the nationalities, okay? And you will help me. See, Inge? Okay, so we begin with Gales here, okay? Oh, I think I made longer. Let me check. No, over here. Afghanistan, Afgano, Afghana. Alemania, Aleman, Alemana. Arabia Saudita, Árabe. Argentina, Argentino, Argentina. Australia, Australiano, Australiana. Bélgica, Belga. Bolivia, Boliviano, Boliviana. Brasil, Brasileño, Brasileña. Camboya, Camboyano, Camboyana. Canadá, Canadiense. Chile, Chileno, Chilena. China, Chino, China. Let me go a little bit lower so I can check more. Mm -hmm. Okay. Colombia, colombiano, colombiana. Corea, coreano, coreana. Costa Rica, costarricense. Or both. Huh? Cuba, cubano, cubana. Dinamarca. Danés, danesa. Eh, Ecuador, ecuatoriano, ecuatoriana. Egipto, egipcio, egipcia. El Salvador, salvadoreño, salvadoreña. Escocia, escocesa, escocesa. España, española, española. Estados Unidos. For example, eh, many people that come to Latin America, they say, I am American. But in Spanish, we don't say your nationality American. We say Estadounidense. Estadounidense. And that is because the country is Estados Unidos. Mm -hmm. We continue. Estonia. Estonio, Estonia. Etiopía. Etíope. Filipinas, Filipino, Filipina. Finlanda, Finlandia. Finlandés, Finlandesa. Francia, Francés, Francesa. Let me go a little bit lower. Gales, Galés, Galesa. Grecia, Griego, Griega. Guatemala, Guatemalteco, Guatemalteca. Haití, Haitiano, Haitiana. Holanda, holandés, holandesa. Hondureño, hondureño, hondureña. Indonesia, indonés, indonesa. Inglaterra, inglés, inglesa. Irak, iraquí. Irán, iraní. Irlanda, irlandés, irlandesa. Israel, israelí. Italia, Italiano, italiana. Japón, japonés, japonesa. Jordania, jordano, jordana. Laos, laosiano, laosiana. Letonia, letón, letona. Lituania, litonés, 
Litonesa, Malasia, Malayo, Malaya, Marruecos, Marroquí, México, Mexicano, Mexicana. We're going to the last part. Nicaragua, Nicaragüense, Noruega, Noruego, Noruega, Nueva Zelanda, o también Nueva Zelandia, both are correct, Neozelandés, Neozelandesa, Panamá, Panameño, Panameña, Paraguay, Paraguayo, Paraguaya, Perú, Peruano, Peruana, Polonia, Polaco, Polaca, Portugal, Portugués, Portuguesa, Puerto Rico, Puertorriqueño, República Dominicana, Dominicano, Dominicana, Rumania, Rumano, Rumana, Rusia, Ruso, Rusa, Suecia, Sueco, Suecia, Sueca, sorry, Suiza, Suizo, Suiza, Tailandia, Tailandés, Tailandesa, Taiwán, Taiwanés, Taiwanesa, Turquía, Turco, Turca, Ucrania, Ucraniano, Ucraniana, Uruguay, Uruguayo, Uruguaya, Venezuela, Venezolano, Venezolana, y Vietnam, Vietnamita. Uh, let me see if there's something below. Oh, we finish. We finish the list. So, my dear friends, I would like you please to write your nationality and country according to Spanish, please. Also, uh, I would like to know what you have discovered in today's occasion of how your country and your nationality uh, is in Spanish. Uh, so. And while I'm also checking on the comments, Elisabetta, thanks for your support. Gracias. Uh, yes, yes, actually, I, I, I'm, I'm checking also Inge, Inge's comment. Uh, I am also learning uh, today about the, the, this, this situation of, you know, the Netherlands and the way how we translate it. Actually, you can check Inge in, in the translator online into Spanish. It's going to come something really interesting. <laughs> Lituano, Lituana, muy bien, excelente. Can choose really. I am one point seven Peruvian, muy bien. Oh, you are also Peruvian, Colombian, zero point eight, Mexican, zero point four. Oh, uh, so you have many parts of different parts of the world. Katie, you are a person very interesting. <laughs> uh, Martin, soy de Inglaterra, soy inglesa, muy bien. In, uh, Italia, Italiana, soy Americana de Norte América. Yvonne, please keep, keep in mind that in Spanish, we say the country, the name of the country of the, of the United States, we say Estados Unidos. And the nationality in Spanish is estadounidense. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, soy holandesa, muy bien, Natalie. We're learning everybody something new. So, but this is a list that you can also access to here in the printable PDF. Online also, you can go and, and check lots of different excellent sources that give you all the information of anything translated into your language. So there you can find also the nationalities. Uh-huh. So, Valverde Nellens, yes, I know, I know, Natalie. Soy de Canadá, soy canadiense. Muy bien, Roberto, soy de Estados Unidos. Excelente, amigo. Muy bien. So, <laughs> so now we're going to continue with our conversation. Our conversation, preguntando cómo estás, ¿ok? So now we learn extensively about all the nationalities of the world. Uh, this is the way how we pronounce the names of your countries and your nationalities. See? And now we're going to ask, how are you in Spanish? We're going to ask, for example, to the tour guy, how are you? We're going to ask to the person that is talking to us at the hotel, you know, or a friendly person that is chatting with us, we want to engage in a conversation. So we're going to talk about 
you know, ask how this person is, how this is going to be. Muy bien. So we're going also to take the roles in this occasion. Okay? And I'm going to begin, of course. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Hello. How are you? Okay, now it's your turn to answer. You can answer according to how you feel. Oh, gracias, Dalia. ¿Cómo estoy? I will tell you in a moment. I will tell you how I feel. Mm -hmm. So, Cari says, muy bien. <laughs> Joana, yes. Sam, muy bien. Valerie, bien. A question from Susan. Would you address a stranger with to form or usted form? Well, Susan, depends if the person is older, usted. Usted is a form more uh, elevated, formal. If it's an older person or a person that is superior in terms of, for example, a professor, you know, I would say usted. Oh, and tú es more casual. Mm -hmm. You can ask, you can use tú most of the times to, to anyone in a more informal situation. Okay, Marilu. Thanks for the question, by the way, Susan. Uh, muy bien. ¿Y tú? Excelente. Gracias, Marilu. I will tell you in a moment how I feel. Muy bien. Natalie, más o menos. Más o menos. Okay, Natalie. We're going to fix that. Hola, Vanessa, ¿cómo estás? Ah, I'll tell you in a moment, Roberto. Yo estoy súper bien. <ríe> so, más o menos, Elisabetta. Muy bien, no problem. Ajá, y bon. Muy bien, ¿y tú? Excelente. Thanks for returning the question to me. Gracias, gracias, gracias. ¿Y tú? Meaning, ah, meaning of más o menos, Natalie. So, so. Más is, you know, more. Menos is less in Spanish. So, más o menos is like so-so, something like that. Mm -hmm. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Muy bien. Buenos días. <laughs> bien, Joana. I'm reading your comments, by the way. Ajá. Uh -huh. Más o menos. Significa more or less. Yes, yeah, so-so. Muy bien, Roberto. Sí, exactly. So, Because you asked me now, I have to answer you. So my answer is, muy bien, muy bien. Mm -hmm. uh, um, but also, your answer can be not so good, no? It could be, mm, I feel bad, no? Me siento mal, más o menos, mal. Uh, it can be also triste, sad, for example. And if you want to continue with the conversation, oh, you can say, you can ask, ¿Por qué te sientes mal? Why do you feel sick? Why do you feel sad? Oh, why you're sad? ¿Por qué más o menos? Why so, so? Hmm? And the conversation will continue. Oh. And then you can also Oh, so for example, you are sick, right? Me siento mal. Oh, estoy triste. I feel sad, right? I got a bad news. Porque recibí una mala noticia. Uh -huh. Estoy cansada. Muy bien, Elisabetta. Ah, buenas noches. is good night, Joana. Yes, of course. Hmm? A ver, students, tell me why you feel sad or why you feel so-so. Imagine you are not feeling good. So give me an answer. If you were not feeling good, if you were, were bad or oh, feeling mal or más o menos. I'm going to read you now. Okay, so let's start with Elisabetta. Estoy cansada. Of course, I feel you know, tired. Joana, estoy muy cansada. I am very, very tired. Muy bien, Joana. Muy is very, very, right? Natalie, 
me siento mal. Muy bien, Natalie. Me siento mal. I'm feeling sick, ¿no? Maybe something I ate, you know, feeling sick. Me siento mal. You. Sick is enfermo, right? Sí, Inge. Sick is enfermo. Me siento enfermo. You can say also. Me siento enfermo. I feel sick, right? Joana, muy triste. ¿no? Me siento. Me siento is I feel. I feel. Me siento triste. ¿Ah? Very sad. Me estoy muy triste. Exactly. Muy triste. Ajá. The flu. Uy, estoy con la gripe. ¿No? Estoy resfriada. I feel with the flu. I don't feel good. Ajá. So, yes, you and I am feeling bad for, for this reason, the other reason, many, many reasons. Muy bien, amigos. You are practicing Spanish. You are writing in Spanish. And I hope also you're pronouncing. Please don't just type. Pronounce. Oh. Um, so, I think this is our last one. Yes, it is the last one of our slice of today thank you so much amigos for participating on this class it's been one hour almost of fun in spanish and i have started since today because of all the the you know many many people interested in this class a new class a new series for the nighttime of peru So in four hours, I will have, or three hours, I will have another class for North America. So uh, if you wish to join again, if you wish to repeat the class and you can do it because it's in your time zone, please come to the next class. It's going to be about the same. It is going to be uh, about the same. Uh, um, we are going also to do probably a little revision of other things before. I hope that the, the depending on the group, if the group is new probably we're going to do a revision from beginning see so we will see i hope you enjoy it amigos muchas gracias really i appreciate a lot your your comments and your support and coming here if you would like also to uh, support this channel uh, uh your tour guide also help me to continue doing events like this one you can also help me with your tip support that would be super fantastic let me turn the camera to look at you okay so um As you know, these are free events and uh, we are not paid by Hago. We are paying with your kind, paid by your kind support and uh, your tips. So if you are able to support with a tip, I know not everybody can do it. And I know it's not always easy. It is also hard for me to support all my colleagues every time I join an event. But if it's in your possibilities, I really, really appreciate Uh, your support. You can also help me uh, uh, becoming a sponsor. Uh, uh, the sponsorship program is a way Hego has created for um, voyagers, for travelers, virtual travelers to help their favorite guys or their favorite shows. Uh, uh, and in that way, also, you can help us to continue creating events. Uh, Hego also, uh, because we are sharing our tips with Hego, as you know. So in that way, Hego can continue being a free platform. That's what we want. We all want that this type of events will continue free. Nobody has to pay anything to join the events. I really love that to be part of this platform uh, and, and allow people to learn about my country and the history of Peru. So uh, if you can help us with a donation or becoming a sponsor, that would be super. The sponsorship program is $10 per month and you help us to continue creating events and as a way to say thanks to you all i am adding two classes on zoom for my sponsors every month so we are able to practice on zoom for 45 minutes every time the uh, classes the lessons and i can hear you and you can also uh, practice and i can correct the pronunciation so that's really a good way to um keep um learning Oh, so, well, that's a way to say thanks to you all also. Thanks a lot. Muchas gracias, amigo Roberto. Gracias for your support. Yvonne, gracias, Valerie, Caitlin. It, this really means a lot to me. You're helping me a lot. And, well, 
hope to see you very soon. Uh, maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow I have another event. You can give me a follow on the channel button, which is somewhere there. If you don't see it, it's because you already follow me uh, to see my upcoming events. It's been a pleasure to have you. And this has been a wonderful hour. Uh, and well, practice. Please practice. Remember that you have to uh, download your printable. Download your printable uh, that is free. Uh, um, and I will turn again the camera to show you where exactly it is on this link, adventurestravelguide.com slash learn Spanish for traveling. Mm -hmm. Also, Martin, our friend, is sharing the printable link there. Okay? So see you soon, amigos. Gracias. Until the next time, have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye. Take care. Thank you. Chao, chao. Hasta pronto.